Hi guys, so today's busted out might be hopefully kind of quick. Um, just because it's just kind of playing around with some stamp pads that I had. So when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, you know what? I wanted to bust out my Yudu um, card making set. Because remember Yudu, was it Cricut? Was that a Cuddlebug thing? Provocraft? I don't remember who made it. They had the huge system, and then um, on HSN for a while, they had the smaller one, which was the one that makes cards. And that's the one I like to use. When I say like to use, I used it, I think, once. But um, <laughs> that's the one I went for because it's a little less expensive and it made cards instead of like making things that I would probably never use. Um, but then I was like, ah, it's in the garage, and I'm not feeling all that great. I kind of wanted to just sleep this morning. So um, I remember that I had just um, rearranged some of my stamps and when I, my stamp uh, pads. So I have all my uh, Tim Holtz now next to me and all my specialty stamp pads and all my Crafter's Companion and all the different types of have, you know, water reactive, quick dry, pigment, um, what else? Uh, specialty, just everything's here. So now I can just grab them instead of never using them because they're always put away in a different area of my craft room. So they're all in this cart next to me now. This was one of them um, that I found. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna bring this and keep it close because I've never used it and it was 11 bucks, right? And um, so I was trying to look at this and I'm like, what? You're supposed to click it together? I have no idea. So it's one of those kind of Kaleidos Color rainbow pads. I do not know that they still make these or sell these. So that's why it's definitely a busted out. So if you have these, maybe, I remember, I don't know, seeing things like this a long time ago with like Hero Arts. Um, like in the 90s was a big deal. Or like my teacher had one of those rainbow pads. I was like, ooh, it was always uh, fun to, to see or to try and use, right? And then I had these from, as you can see, uh, Recollections from Michaels. I've never used these. I don't even know if these are any good the way they look. You know what I'm saying? And I've had them for so long and they were just laying there. I don't know if they've migrated or if they're close together. I don't know how these work. So we're going to open all these up and try them out and see what we can um, do. So I do have some paper already cut because I have a couple ideas. Because I know, I remember whenever I saw them like at an expo, somebody had used them on like glossy paper. So I thought we can do that. Um, a little more updated. The company a few years back... I guess jelly plates have been out for a while. I just didn't use them or kind of was not around when all that was going on. Um, this Kaleida Color company that makes them. Um, actually, Sukaneko makes them. It's a company called Imagine that uh, really was selling them. So I don't, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you can still find them. I mean, Sukaneko is a great brand, but maybe it just didn't take off because I cannot find them right now. If you look for these, I was trying to see if I would have links for you guys. If there are any links, there'll be affiliate links, and that means I make a small commission if you use those links. But for right now, um, I hadn't found any yet. But like I said, if they are there, they, um, that's the that's the case with those. Um, they're like on eBay and Etsy, and people you know used and trying to sell them. So let's see if this one's ready to go. Oh. Oh, I just cracked the heck out of that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. It says to pop... What does it say? Remove the cover. Oh, okay. Duh. <laughs> I'm trying to slide it. I'm going to have to... Well, it didn't crack all the way through, so that's good. Um, I know I remember saying something about sliding, so I was like, oh, you slide it back. No, you slide these. Oh, that's pretty fancy. And then you can also make your own. So I think I'm going to run through real quick how to make your own, but I don't have very many re-inkers. I do have some... Oh, well, I guess I have some. We'll see. Um, with like a baby wipe so you can do your own thing. So we'll try this out in just a second. I just want to see what that looked like. Good job busting that thing. Ooh, this didn't migrate at all. Look, I mean, there's a little kind of shadowing there, but not bad. So this one goes from purple to a light purple to a pink, I guess. Uh, this one's called... Um, it doesn't have a name, does it? Da -da. Gradation of d color in dye ink. That's all it says. Okay. Um, and these were when they came out with some color splash collection. I don't even... So what's funny about this, let me show you real quick because uh, of the things I was talking about that I wanted to use my Udo and all that. Um, these were with these stamps in here. And as I opened it up, when those came out, they were kind of like part of this collection of like these stamps. They're like wood blocks that I've never used. And of course I bought all of them. These are from Recollections too. I have all of them here that they had sold or at least that I could find. So really pretty. I just never use them. Um, so hopefully I'll do that one day. Uh, there was another set of watercolor pencil <laughs> crayons. Remember I bust those out, I think, or we did something fun with those. But also what was in here was this Heidi Swap kit with... Um, some of this stuff. So if I have some colors that coordinate with this, maybe we'll still do a little, a little, uh, what's that called? Um, screen printing. I don't know. Cause the colors are pretty light. I, let me see. I have a yellow, pink, a dark blue, an orange, 
Is there more in the back over here? Ooh, a whole other set of more like pearlescent colors. Yeah, I have like a ton of colors. Maybe we can use the dark blue somehow. I don't know. So we'll try and use them just to do a little something here. Oopsie. All right, so let's just get started. So, okay, I did not get um, a stamp. <laughs> Let me see if I can find... Eh, what is this? <clears throat> so the basic thing you can do with these guys, of course, is stamp. So let me just get... This is just a sentiment stamp that I had sitting here. And if I do it this way, it's going to be very small because the sentiment stamp is kind of small. So I'm going to go this way. And what you can do is kind of go up and down or left and right just a little bit to blend that color better. Right? Just a little bit. <clears throat> then you can stamp that. That's pretty. Hopefully you can kind of see. Oh, this is such a funny sentiment. It's from... Um, Rubber Red Rubber Stamp Company, what was it called? Rubber Cafe, which I guess is no longer in business, but thank you for everything, I have no complaints. That's really cute. Let me wipe this off and clear my throat and I'll be right back. I just heard my neighbor's gardener. He did this a couple weeks ago and I thought, are they gonna start doing this? It's not even seven o'clock yet. I wanna go out and murder them. All right, um, it's really annoying and I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background because that's how it's gonna be, I guess, because they just started. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so I have a paper towel here, I have a brayer, um, so that was really pretty. Obviously, you can do like flowers, anything that, you know, it's going to look ombre and really pretty, butterflies, all those things that you like to stamp. Um, another technique is ombreing this stuff. And I wanted to do... Now, obviously, it's going to work pretty much the same for all of these. So I'm just going to do this on this glossy paper. I'm going to use this one. And again, you can use them separately. Use your daubers, ink it up. But I mean, if you want to ink it up, you probably should click them together. And with this one, what I'm gonna do is try to get some on here. Now this is a small uh, brayer, so I'm just gonna do one area, but um, you know, if it was a bigger guy, you can do more. And this is that glossy paper that I get from Local King. And so I'm just gonna try to go up and down straight. Oh, this is very stiff. And I'm gonna try, eesh, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. So let's just, <laughs> uh, eh, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty, but not pretty enough because it's, uh... Yeah, it's not smooth enough. You know what's funny about this brayer? I had used it the other day to do the, um, letterpress. And so when I went to do some pigment ink, I was like, why is it repelling? And I totally forgot that I had to use it on the letterpress stuff. So, like, with the letterpress stuff, it just... I don't know if I want to just keep doing the same thing. Um, that oil was stuck on there, so I just used alcohol right now to clean it really well. Oh, that's better. That's better. I was going to say, this is... Okay, now we're in business. <laughs> and then the other thing I was going to do is try it out with a jelly plate. And I just got one, so for me it's busting out a brand new thing. But that's pretty... Um, I could have done it a little smoother, I think, if I had done it. Look at that. The blue. Oh, that looks like so electric. Pretty, pretty. I remember uh, people start going all these different directions. I'm like, well, then you're just making like a mission. I kind of wanted to keep it the same, but you know, do whatever you like. So there's that. I'm gonna wipe this off, and then I'm gonna bring out my jelly plate, even though I don't want to. So again, I'm gonna unclick that so the colors stay nice and separate. Now you know what that means. I'm gonna go on eBay and Etsy and buy up people's <laughs> old ones, only if it's new. Now we'll see. Um, okay. I, yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to get my jelly plate that's under me here. Now, I'm kind of scared to use this because it's the first time I'm going to use it and they tell you to do this and do that and uh, ta -da, gel hand sanitizers, baby wipes also can be used to clean because we're going to waste that on here. No way. Uh, the surface of the Journey Gel Plus, wipe pat down. When working, especially important to keep it on a flat and non-porous surface. Always store your Journey Gel Press in its packaging. Yeah, so what's interesting is to always keep it flat in its original packaging or in a smooth piece of glass. And then uh, I know they had said to keep it straight up and down like this. Like if you have a bookshelf or something like that, or a bookcase, or just keep it up wherever you can keep it <laughs> up like this. So I thought that's kind of odd. This is the Journey Gel Press from Fun Stamper's Journey. So I do have a link for this, but or I think I will. Um, I picked this one up on Spellbinders. It's a big plate, so it's eight and a half by eleven. And 
I feel like I don't need to take it off the bottom carrier because why would I? And I don't even need, what I was thinking is I'm gonna cut this thing up. I think you can even, if I want to cut it into a circle, kind of a rough circle, but we'll see. But right now it's still pretty and pristine. Of course I don't want to use it, but this is what Busted Out is about. Like I would never use this if I wasn't <laughs> making videos to be honest. Look how pretty it is. She's gonna get so destroyed. All right, let's remove this. That's a really nice carrier it has. Oh, it feels so nice. I just, you know, I've seen videos where people have them for so long and they look horrible, but that's the point. So let's take that off. That is really, like the kids say, satisfying, right? There we go. Oh, I don't, you know, I, I'm really, aye, aye. okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take this, uh, the orangey color and we have to go up and down, obviously. And this one's much better suited for this little brayer, so that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Hopefully it's getting all of it. I don't know. And I don't even know the quality of this paper, uh, so. Okay. So there's a little bit. And then I'm going to take... Oh, I didn't go far enough. Darn it. I have this little piece of paper because I figure it could be an accent on a card or something, so I'm just going to put that down. And I'm going to wipe the brayer off a little bit, but I am going to go across the back of this just to help me get those colors on there. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, it has a lot of um, smushes, kind of. Uh, what's that? Just not really nicely done. That is also just stamping card. So I'm going to rub this on here again. And wipe the back of this a little bit. And put it down again. I'm going to try to do this until I get a smoother transition of colors. So you see that's a little better. And if you like the texture, then, you know, like uh, whenever I had showed you guys how to just kind of mess around with an acrylic block and do similar techniques, it looks cool. So you can do that, definitely. And that's the third time. Oh, wow. Every time it got prettier and prettier. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. I guess you can probably keep going, but I think that's good enough for me. So very nice. I do enjoy that. I'm going to definitely wipe this down right now and clean it up. And uh, just with a wet uh, towel, but I'm going to take it over to my kitchen. And I will then show you guys how to do the baby wipe technique. Okay, so the only re-inkers I have are um, like the ones I just got from my... Um, speckled egg kit. This is a distress oxide, which you can still do. You can use these. Um, it might be a little funky, but you can use uh, pigment based, whatever reinkers you have, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I have like a burgundy one, like a vine berry one from close to my heart. And then I think I have chocolate from close to my heart. So those colors kind of don't go together, but I do have this. And I thought maybe we can use it the same way, or maybe even the, um, the sparkle inks from like Crafter's Companion. I don't know, but I'm gonna try these. <laughs> so they have glitter in them. I don't really care about the glitter because I really I just want the color. But again, these don't really say, well, this is glitter ink. I was gonna say it doesn't really say ink, but it does because you want them to be nice and deep. And I'm just gonna take this junky baby wipes from the Dollar Tree I've had sitting here for a long time and I use them every once in a while for stamps or cleaning up different things. And um, some people say to use two pads. I'm not gonna keep this forever. So I think if it's something that you're gonna store, you can pay, maybe put it like in a baggie and keep it moist. That's up to you. But I'm just gonna make a really small pad. So as you can see, I just folded it up. And this is just a, um, Nusa is like my favorite yogurt. If you guys haven't tried it, you should try it. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on here. So obviously I'm gonna ink up a small uh, stamp with this, but if you need a bigger space, use more of your baby wipes and don't put it in a tray like this. Just leave it like on a glass surface or wherever you wanna put it. So we're gonna try this, but we'll see what happens. Um, ch -ch -ch. I'm trying to think where I wanna start. So basically you do this with any ink, so you just take your ink. And for me, this is kind of a big waste, so <laughs> um, I'm not you know, going too much with it. I'm probably just gonna to toss this when I'm done here. But you can see it kind of stays in its spot. You would think that it just would really move, but it kind of behaves. And if you want to get them closer together, you can do that, but I'm going to kind of move them back and forth anyway, so I don't really think they need to be pushed together. And this might not even work because, you know, I don't know about this ink, but we will see. Let's use that same little stamp I had used earlier. Let's see if I can get this inked up here. And normally I would let this sit a little bit so that the ink's kind of... So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of going up and down, getting some ink. Oh, that looks really pretty. 
Oh my gosh. And it even has glitter. Let me try to stamp that on something else that you can see it closer. Um, you know, let me go grab a different uh, stamp. Okay, I have this photopolymer set here uh, from Crafters Companion. It's the collage uh, Cherish Every Moment. And I'm just going to get one of the smaller flowers. And I should have something to stamp on, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, no. I don't think the colors would match for this, would they? It would look kind of crazy. Um, hmm. Nah, I don't want to mess that up, because what if I just want to use that for something else later? Let me... Okay, so this is just a piece of stamping paper I just found in the pack of stamping paper. So I am just going to kind of put it so that this, the flower part is more towards the ink, uh, the pink and purples, and the leaves are kind of more towards the green just so it kind of makes more sense and just squish squish we'll see what happens mm, it looked like it repelled a little bit oh but it looks really pretty I wonder why that line is so deep right there that's kind of how it is in the image weird see that image right there let's try it again now this is just an outline stamp though so that's another issue I think this would be prettier if it was like a full-on stamp stamp Pretty. I wonder if you can wet this one. I've never, these are just dye ink, so I'm just assuming you can pull some color out, but uh, you can. It's kind of starting to, um, what's the word? Um, look a little like frayed around the edges there. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my God, I cannot believe those people. And they're right outside window, uh, Dorian and Miranda's window. Well, first of all, Dorian's window, but Miranda sleeps with him because she doesn't like to stay by herself. But not bad. I don't really care for that smudging. Let me try one more stamp that's like a full okay, image. So I have these little stamps here from um, uh, the Diane Press Lots of Love Stamp and Die Can. I kept it out because I want to do more with it. It's the one that came with the little butterflies. Um, I'm sorry, the bird cutouts. Remember the little birds that were like put together? So anyway, um, let's let's use this one. I think this one is, yeah. I might not get the whole thing. I just kind of want to try it out. On the back side of this, I had a little stain there. So anyway, let's, uh, maybe something like this. See what happens. Oh, it's very watercolor looking. And I wonder if it's the, um, the baby wipe you know what I'm saying because it has its own juice but look at that you can still see the sparkle in there too so sweet all right pretty cool so I promised you guys that I would use that Heidi swap thing so what I'm gonna do is do a real quick background on my own with this um, purple ink you know what I'm saying something like this and I'm gonna use it on regular paper because I do not know if that Heidi swap will go transfer onto something like this um, I'm not sure because of the slickness of this uh, paper so I'll do it real quick and then we'll try out that um, how do you swap screen print stuff? Okay, so I just went for super lazy, just on regular paper and I just kept going until I like the look of it. So obviously it's not a blend like you did with the um, the jelly plate, right? Because that's much of a more of an ombre kind of smoother blend. But what I'm gonna do now is try out these things and it's funny, I'm like, okay, I have some colors in here. I thought maybe this deeper blue might work. So obviously I got this in a kit and it was probably on clearance or something. And now I still have some of the stuff to go with it. So I just wanted the colors really. So I have the color here. That one should stand out. Um, I have a wipe, a little swiper thing that I already used before. Apparently I used this one time before because I have some other screens that is more down in that box. And this one I never even cleaned it off, which I think you're supposed to clean them off, right? That's a cute one though. Um, but this is the one I want to use. Um, it's the uh, Starry Sky, but it doesn't, uh, you know, I don't see a name for it right now, but I'm sure it has one somewhere. It just says art screen. Anyway, let me bring this out. And obviously, as you can see, this is very big, so it's for a larger project. I don't even know that I need to take this completely off. 
And then you're supposed to kind of stick it down with your uh, washi tape, and that kit comes with washi. But I'm just going to try to open this up and maybe just use it just this bottom corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, yesterday I was just laughing because I had paused the video. Well, it wasn't funny to me, but I had paused the video so I can look at something close up because my eyes are horrible. And yesterday when I poured the um, embossing powder on my little project, it looked like it stuck to the whole thing. So I was like, but I know sometimes when you look up really close and you're looking at your item, if you give it some blows, you know, you can kind of see that it really is only stuck on what you had embossed and not just the whole thing, even though it looked like that. And that was the case. And when I went to go back, the darn thing wasn't recording. And then I was just like, and I don't like things like that whenever it's happen things like that to happen when I'm doing a review right for me if I'm just doing a video like this ah, okay you know um, it's only happened a couple times where it just didn't record any of what I was doing so what I'm gonna do is place this in here and just lay it back down so it's gonna be its own it's gonna hold it itself does that make sense because <laughs> it's such a big one otherwise you could just tape you know with a washi or whatever um, but that means I'm gonna be very careful to not get it back over here I probably should take it off I'm being lazy but oh you know what duh let's use the washi I'm going to use this washi, even though the kit has some, but I'm just going to grab some of this little doge washi. Anyway, um, and I, I don't like when I have little mishaps like that on review videos, especially. But then I thought, okay, I can go back and redo it, but then I was like, no, because, you know, when we're invested, we did something, we like to finish with that same project, right? That same thing. So I was like, no, I'm going to keep using the same card. I'm not going to redo it, but that's okay. All right. And then a lot of you guys commented about that you like that I just do my videos pretty much like they're live. And that's, and like I said, I do that on purpose because ever since I didn't know that I had a editing software in my first probably 100 videos. <laughs> so they were all just long. Like, whatever happened, it happened, you know? Um, this one's called Navy Art Screen Ink. Looks pretty. And you're supposed to kind of just give it a squeeze across the whole thing. I think that's enough. Uh, it may not be, but if it's not, I'll add more. And I'm just going to, again, you just put it on your paper, whatever. Um, I'm going to take this little guy and just squish it down. Ooh, you know what's a bummer? Is that the paper was moving still. I can feel that the screen was moving. Okay, that's a little better. And if you have so much left over, you can definitely use it for the next one but I mean this is I did a pretty good amount and there's no way getting this back in here unless you're very very careful about it so I always try to start with less but they always want you to start with more to be generous because that way when you do it you know you're gonna get a nice good coverage but you can kind of see where you're where you're hitting so that doesn't bother me so much I'm gonna take this off so I do like this process because this is very easy the you do is kind of easy like this too but you have to set it up and I don't know um, be more careful with it. Uh, let me try to open this up. So I had said I had paused it because even right now I just woke up so my hair is kind of frizzy. I had stuck my head in the camera one time and I didn't notice until after it was uploaded and I'm like, ah, my hair was all frizzy. Uh, you know, it's humidity. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of things, guys. Uh, anyway, let me get this off of here. I'm definitely going to have to remove this, obviously, to clean this. Oh, I can see it came out really pretty. I can see it's so pretty. A little bit messed up. Not as nice as I would like, but it's cool. Do you guys see that? Maybe it's because my paper was still kind of wet. Can you see that some of it picked up? Huh. Well, there's that. Let's try it one more time on something else that doesn't have a bunch of ink wet right now. Just to redeem the thing and see if it's any good. I'm definitely going to wash this off with some baby wipes and water and all that. But let me try Let's one other one. Recollections paper here. Obviously, it has nothing to do with the inks that we started off with. But I just want to try this out again. Again, I've used this one before. I don't remember what happened. So <laughs> we will see. Um... I'm just going to put the whole thing down. I don't know that I need washi for this one. I suppose you could, but I'm going to go this direction just because it seems that it would make more sense. Again, I know. Ooh, you know what? Now that I think about it, if I never washed this one before, it might still not have enough. Oh, no, it went. You really want to clean your screens because what happens is... Um, Uh, if that stuff dries on there, I probably wiped it is what happened. Um, the little tiny screen, you know, area is not going to let the pigment come through. But let's see what this looks like. I don't think there's any waiting time. I was like, am I doing this wrong? So maybe I didn't wait long enough. I'm pretty sure it just says use scraper to pull ink and then peel off screen. Easy. <laughs> I'm 
Let's try this one. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I think maybe because my ink was wet, it just reactivated the ink and pulled it up, so I should have waited again for that. Look how pretty. So, I mean, it's a fun uh, little kit. And then you can do different colors. If you want to do rainbow, you add a little above, like, a different color here, a different color here, then scrape it through, and then, you know, do all those things. But it is faster than most um, screen printing <laughs> processes, so uh, really fun. This is kind of a bummer, this one, because it was so pretty. But if you're using it as a background, I'll probably spray some water and let that lift off. It'll just look like a nice little fun kind of background, so I, I don't really feel like that's a waste. But it could have done a little better. Or I could have, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching today's uh, Busted Out. I know I didn't complete a project, which usually I like to like try to make a card or do something, but um, I was just kind of messing around today. So I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.